I'm getting ready to go on a little hike. I'm at the foothills of the Adirondack Mountains. It's in a town near Corinth, New York. And I'm gonna hike the backside of this place called Moreau Lake State Park. This is a better side of the mountain to hike because you don't have all the people at the lake making noise and coming up and it's a lot more peaceful and there are a lot less people. So I'm getting ready to go. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk. I could do a five mile, seven mile, or nine mile walk today. I start out on the road. Here's the other parking lot up here. A little parking lot for, they added for the hikers, but I don't think there's many people hiking today, although I saw a couple people. Now I'm really at the beginning of the hike. Goes up a little steep section. Can't wait to get to the overlook. Depending on what version of this hike I take, will determine what I can possibly see. Hopefully I'll be able to see a bear today. The other day, I was in a place called the Gunks, and I was on my mountain bike, and I was coming back from a place called Minnewaska, and this is like New Paltz, New York, Gardner, New York, and I saw a bear when I was on my bike. I'd much rather see a bear when I'm walking than on a bike. Less chance to startle it, less chance of anything bad. I'm at the main overlook. And the body of water you see down there, although it looks like kind of a lake because there's really no current, that is the Hudson River. And it's dammed so that they could generate some electric. Looking down at the Hudson, you could barely see a kayak or two down there. But when you look how far that is away, That's a long way away. I've come up to this place and sat here on these rocks and hung out so many times. Looking to the north, you could see the Adirondacks. It's a really, really nice day today. It's in the 80s. Wind is blowing real nice. I've been here more times by myself than with somebody. I've always had a good time here because this is true beauty. I just can't believe how nice it is. It's peaceful. I'm at my first decision path. I could take the white right here, S8. Or I could take the yellow and go down this trail. If I take the white one, I'm going to walk maybe four and a half, five miles. If I go to the next one, I'm either at seven or nine. Maybe I'll just do that. I just sat down on this rock here for a minute. Just to become part of nature in the woods. And I can't believe how peaceful it is here. Can you believe I'm still walking? I didn't even start this hike yet. I got a long way to go. <laughs> I'm going to keep walking and walking. Here's the dam down here. I'm at another crossroad. I'm at S7. There's a red or orangish trail or a yellow trail. And I always get confused here because this is a trail that takes you down to the other parking area. And the trail that you can't see is over here. And it's harder to see. That's the one I'm going to take today because it's going to be a better walk. There are many decisions to make going that way, so, hey, I hope I don't get lost. Bad news, I still haven't seen a bear. I'm looking for a bear. I wonder if I'll find one. And I was walking along here, <laughs> and I thought this was a snake. I guess I should start wearing glasses. Now, this is definitely one of my biggest decisions. This one is S17. There's a trail that goes down there. And there's a trail that goes up here. I'm going to go this way. I didn't bring a map. Every time I come out here, I said, maybe I should bring a map. You haven't been here in almost a year. Or maybe, yeah, at least a year. So here I am without a map. Now I'm definitely at my most critical point. This is 
S16. There's a way to go this way on a pink and this way on the orange. This way is pointing towards home. This way points further away. I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to go the long way on pink. Decisions, decisions. I'm at another one. I'm at S3. I can take pink, which goes that way. I could take blue, which goes that way. I've been waiting a long time to get on blue. I think I'm going to take blue. That will lead me out of here. I still have a long walk, and I remember doing this walk one night. I'm still four, four and a half miles from my van. And I remember doing this, and by now I was already like 15 minutes into the dark, and I had a headlamp. The only good thing, these trail markers, they have a little piece of reflection tape on the bottom of them. And they reflect in the night, and you can see your trail really well. I heard coyotes that night. That was a little scary because they were very close to me. And I thought, wow, this is December. It's cold out. I wonder if I'm going to get eaten tonight. But I'm still here. As I'm walking through the woods, I've been thinking of a lot of things. Because when I go on a hike in the woods, I let my mind kind of wander. I was thinking that now I live in a van and I have very very little stuff I'm happier I don't miss anything when I've walked here I have thought that I was gonna run into a mountain lion or a bobcat and I know they say there's no mountain lions in the Adirondacks but I have heard that there are that they've been released but you never know, it could be hearsay, but I always think in this section, up here where there's rock everywhere, I always think I'm going to get attacked by some kind of a cat. Maybe a bear someday, who knows. Coming through this section, I was walking here in the night when it was dark, and I was hearing all coyotes going crazy. They were barking, and it's cold. It's early December, so it's pretty chilly here. There was a tiny bit of snow on the ground, and I came up with some strategies in case I was attacked, because I said, hey, if a coyote is standing in front of you, barking and going crazy on you, don't worry about that coyote. Worry about the one that's gonna flank you, or the one that's gonna hit you from behind. Or the multiple ones that are going to do that. So I probably learned some things by being in that situation. And I remember it was a Saturday night. It's like getting close to Christmas. It was in December. But this was a section where I was like, oh good. They might attack me here. But they didn't. I find it very weird. That there are pine needles and they're green. They've been all along this walk where the pine trees are. And never questioned it until now. I'm like, wait a second. This is not normal. I wonder if it's been so dry here that the pine needles are falling off every time the wind blows. I'm at one of my last decision points. And I know I mentioned... There was a white trail I could have gone on. Well, back that way is the white trail. And I just came from over here. And then there's another trail that goes over here. And this is all done at S9. I'm going this way, right here. Towards the sun now. Going through a field of big old ferns. Big ferns. Path goes right through it. There's nothing at the end of the day, after a hard hike, that beats coming down to this river and taking a swim. Nothing. It is so nice. 
You saw the river from way up high. Now you're seeing it from right down low. I've sat here and seen many sunsets.